Hello everyone, this is your second You Pick Tuesday matchup of the week, a 212 Tuesday matchup. David Henry, 2017 Arnold's Classics versus Kamel Elgarni, 2019 Mr. Olympia. Please, please, manners, manners matter. 212 Tuesday, like I said guys, this is a, you know, this is a tough one to judge. Very tough one to judge. Nobody's really winning this shot. I like that midsection of Kamel Algarne for sure. But I mean, maybe an edge in the lats. V taper for uh, David Henry. David Henry, guys. Former 212 or I guess lightweight champion. I don't even know if they call it a 212 title when he won it. He was competing also in the, uh, the open class at the same time. He plays second many times for the 212 212 title. He, uh, he won it in 2008, if I'm not mistaken. Placed first. Kamel, he uh, took the title here in 2019. So this is two, two, two 212 champions on Tuesday. And like I said, nobody's really winning this shot. Go to the front lot spread. Now I would give this one to Kamel. I like the wheels on both guys, the lags, the wheels. But I think in this shot... I think uh, David Henry might have an edge. Looks very dry. Upper body wise though, like I said, Kamel has this one. Lats filled out a whole lot more. Tilted thusly are these pitchers of David Henry. I think uh, Kamel might be in better condition. Hard to say. Hard to say. Definitely uh, would wager to say the lighting might be a little bit better. 2019? Maybe. Maybe not. I would say, I would say so. But anyway, guys, run through the poses here, and I would wager to say the display, the peck display is a whole lot better for Kamel here. I mean, all I see is peck. And David Henry, rugged, thick terrain that he has for pecks. Almost looks more, uh, more substance, more three-dimensional thickness. But I mean, come on, guys. Look at the display of Kamel. He's all chest. Made him a little bit shorter than David in this one. Could have made him even more uh, smaller. He's bending at the knees quite substantially. And David stands tall in the side chest. Now back to back. I would say Henry's slightly shorter than Kamel. Maybe an inch. Maybe an inch. So sizing does get difficult. Look at the calf, if you will, on Kamel. Reminds you of... Uh, or, Reminds me, anyway, of Kai Green. Side tricep pose. And now this is upper body display for Kamel. Looks fantastic. Things of that nature. But his tricep fades away. And when it comes to David Henry, aside from the legs, I think, I think he could be winning in the wheels. Upper body wise, his display not nearly as good. As Kamel. But his tricep itself is pretty much destroying Kamel Algarni. But it is a tough decision to make, guys. And so is this entire matchup. Turn these uh, 212 athletes around. And I gotta say, both of these guys are in condition. Both of these guys. So it's gonna be a tough, uh, tough choice. Tough choice for me to make. I would wager to say the lat insertions... Might be better for David Henry. Looks like a more uh, aesthetically pleasing pose. I guess you could say, for lack of a better term. But I mean, uh, Kamel, he looks pretty good. He looks pretty conditioned, I should say. So it's it's shape, silhouette, aesthetics, versus maybe an edge in conditioning. Rock hard muscle for Kamel. Go to the rear double bicep pose. Basically the same thing here. Nice, clean, neat shot here for David Henry. He was awesome. He was really good. He competed in the open class, like I said. Tremendous. Tremendous. Looks like a nice big plate put onto his back. But then you look at Kamel Algarni. Surely he's getting an edge in the conditioning. Look at his lower back, glutes, things of that nature. And his lats, pretty good. His traps... Really good. Calves, some of the best that you're going to see in bodybuilding. Even in this shot, I don't know, I don't know. 
It's 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 close, guys. It's close. Finish this dandy of a matchup off, abs and thigh. And some of you might like the way that Kamel hits this. It's like a Spanish bullfighter. Ole! Ole! Ah, I'm not in a funny mood today, guys. Sorry. It's all I got. It's all I got. You notice David Henry's number four? Hmm? Eh? Eh. He has a better V-taper, does Henry. I was going to say he looks better in the quads, but look at uh, Kamel's quads. Wow. Fantastic. Fantastic. So, once again, we are uh, left with the decision of rock hard condition, shape, versus better shape. I would say better silhouette, things of that nature. Finish this one off. Most muscular. And this is... Uh, the immortal words, guys. This one could go either way. This one honestly could go either way. Kamel Algarne obviously ripped. Pilders. Pilders. There. There. Little bit funny, I guess. A little bit funny. Wife made me sleep on the couch last night. Sorry, I'm fighting with my wife. I'm just joking. I'm just joking, guys. Don't worry about Mark's Max Muscle. He'll do all right. Give me a, give me a quart of Jack Daniels and some Rocky movies. That's all I need. This is an awesome pose, guys, for both guys, for both gentlemen. Here is your winner, Kamel Algarne. Could have went either way, but I think that he was in better condition. And not to mention, the lighting was better. Makes a difference. Makes a difference. Seen a interview, Sean Ray. Kevin Lavroni, Flex Wheeler, Chris Cormier, all of those all of those dudes were talking, and they were saying that the I think it was uh, Iron Man, the Iron Iron Man, the old Iron Man shows. They said the lighting was the best, hands down. Nobody else knows how to do lighting like those guys. So whoever did the Iron Man. Get them guys to do the lighting for the Olympia and the uh, the Arnold Classics. Get to the... Anyway, guys, hit thumbs up on the video. That was your You Pick Tuesday lineup. Have a great day.